All right, Shalom, Brother Yerah, coming back at you. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachachodash, giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways, in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the men of the Lord. Out there, Shalom to the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whom the Lord will have mercy on in these latter days. Shalom. And this is a. Uh, an article you see the title here this has been being covered for the last week or so uh it says netflix apologizes for inappropriate cuties poster i mean criticism it sexualizes children now if you've seen any news on this or known about part of the story netflix is basically receiving a lot of controversy for this film called cuties and it's basically uh little jake girls man uh it's utterly disgusting the image that Esau is trying to portray. You got pedophile rings running around rampant that, that's not being covered in the media. And they're taking these high lofty positions. They're sneaking uh, this uh, this idea that it, it's okay to be with children or it's okay to sexualize children at the very least. You know, you have drag queen boys. You have uh, this movie with this uh, on Netflix as well where uh, this RuPaul, which is a uh, transgender, is going around cross-country with a little with a little boy, man, you know? So Esau's been at this 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 uh, thing for a while, uh, waxing worse and worse into wickedness. Now, when people saw this, it was mainly this poster, and you can see it's... These, all of these girls, by the way, are, are around the age of 11. They're prepubescent, you know? And the scriptures say... You're not to deal with any woman before the flower of her age, point blank period, man. And even still, after that point, you need to go through her father. So this whole idea of sexualizing kids who, 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 uh, who don't know any better, especially without any wisdom, especially when a lot of them don't even have more than one parent, and that one parent they do have, it's a woman, you know? And, and there's nothing like the protection of a father, you know? That's, that's, what, that's what the role of the man is. A major part of that role is, is to provide protection. So I'll read some of this. It says, Netflix is issued an apology for an inappropriate poster. Uh, marketing poster, it released, promoting the forthcoming French movie, Cuties. Now this is in, uh, I forget the West African country that it's in. What you can see here, the poster released by Netflix shows the young girls with the film and suggestive dance poses. And you can see these little girls in little, like little short shorts, man, bending over. It's disgusting. It says this led to a petition in change.org to remove cuties from the streaming platform, calling it disgusting as it sexualizes an 11-year-old girl for the viewing pleasure of pedophiles and also negatively influences our children. And you can bet that these pedophiles are all over it, man. And there's plenty of suspect uh, content, movies, TV shows that are into this, you know. Because eventually Esau wants pedophilia to be a thing. You know, there's already a, uh, there's, there's a flag for pedophiles already, you know. And if you don't know, pedophiles have even rebranded themselves as, as MAPS, which is a acronym for minor attracted person, meaning it's a, per, a, a man or a woman, I guess, that uh, that is attracted to minors. They call them maps. And then you have something called no maps, which are uh, N-O-M-A-P, which are non-offending minor attracted persons. And they have a flag and everything. They have Twitter accounts. This place, this place has to go. Now you see why the Lord has to come back and put uh, a whole slew, a whole heap of plagues on this place. And then it didn't ultimately just burn it all, you know, because th this is this is what you get in this society. It says the petition added that there is no need for such content in that age group, particularly when sex trafficking and pedophilia are so rampant. And that's true. Children going missing every day. And that's just in the U.S., man. Yeah, I don't even want to know with Bill Gates being over there in Africa, <laughs> you know, just handing out needles 
off, offering, you know, free shit to Jake over there. Then you got Haiti, which I suspect, you know, you know, a, a whole gang of Levites over there are getting preyed upon by Esau, you know, at a very young age. It says, following the backlash received over the chosen artwork, Netflix apologized for the mistake and corrected it. But see, they tried, if you go early, they tried to defend it, you know, and there are people still trying to defend this, this nonsense, you know, this, this is off as hell, man. Grown ass women shouldn't even be dressed like this. This, this is the, this is the devil, man. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Uh. What the scriptures have to say about this. It says they have taken crafty. It's a Psalms 83 and 3. Pretty sure uh, many of the uh, Akim have heard of this before. It says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Alright, so th this is uh this is Esau Edom. This is this is a crafty council because you notice there's not a bunch of Edomites out there. You don't see little girls getting sexualized like this. It's always a Jake, whether it be uh, Southern Kingdom or Northern Kingdom. It says they have, they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, in the name of Israel be no more in remembrance." And one of these ways that they've been cutting us off, but back in the uh, in the slave days, it was taking our language, it was beating that out of us, beating our names out of us, our culture, our heritage. We couldn't read. We couldn't read English. And we couldn't speak our language. And, and then they basically put an all-out attack on women. They offered them food stamps and sentenced to keep us out of the home. You know, you got abortion clinics. All of these things to cut us off, man. And and this is, this is just, you know, another form, another version of it. But here's the sickest part about this whole thing that made me uh, angry, to be honest with you. It says the casting procedure for this film right here, highlighted in orange for me. You can see it. it says, the casting procedure for this film was held for nearly six months. About 650 girls auditioned for the main character. And 11 year old Fatia Yusuf was chosen. So you had 650 little girls, man. And, and, and who, who knows what the hell happened? On, during that filming process, man, as you know, these pedophiles are all over that shit. They're they're deep into Hollywood and filmmaking. And, it, and this was in, this was in West Africa, man. So we were well. It says it's a French film, but we know the plot of it is, is in uh, West Africa. So I'm I'm sure it was a, it was a back and forth uh, between those two. But you have a lot of Jakes in France as well, too, from West Africa. So, th this here, man, you just know when you see that number that a lot of wickedness went on with these little girls, you know? This is Isaiah uh, 10 and 2. It says, to turn aside the needy. Actually, I'll start at 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees that write grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless because these little girls don't have fathers, man. There's no way in hell if they do got fathers, they, they, they're weak men, which is almost worse than having nobody at all. Because a real man is not going to let his daughter be posing up here like this, man, at 11 years old. You know, our women are being spoiled at a very, very young age. And then you wonder why you grow up and they got all these goddamn demons on them. Because shit like this is happening. And, and, and these grown-ass uh, Jake women, Eve, is right along with it. With it. There's no, there's no man guiding her, you know. 
they liken unto widows. It says that widows may be their prey, right? And, and some of these uh, Jake women are literally widows. They'll, they'll get with the Jake in the hood who's just in the slinging drugs or whatever, and he's, he's gone, you know? He's either in jail or he's dead. It says that they may rob the fatherless. Th this is why the Lord has to come back and destroy this place. This is the last precept, and I'll close out. This is uh, Sirach 42. It says, for, it says, The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and care for her that taketh away, and, and the care for her taketh away sleep. Because when she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, just when she uh, is old enough to deal with the man, and being married, lest she should be hated. So it's a very uh, stressful thing for a father to have to watch over his daughter, man. You know? You're supposed to keep your daughter in and monitor things around her because there's, there's freaks and weirdos, especially these days with Esau, Edom, and rulership lurking around, man. Looking to defile your daughter. You know, I'll skip down on the verse 11. It says, keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter that she make the laughing stock to thine enemies and a byword in the city and the reproach among the people and make thee ashamed before the multitude. Now, this is dealing with the woman gets old, uh, when she gets older, right? When she's able to deal with men. But after she's gone through this, of course, she's going to be shameless. You can't get any more out in the open than this, man. Ut utterly exposed, completely discovered madness, you know. So uh, I wanted to share that with you, that this story is utterly uh, disgusting. And, and a, a major company like Netflix is, is pushing this out. And people are still defending it, you know. So uh, I wanted to share that with you, Akim. With that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. Hopefully y'all were edified. Call halal yahweh ba shimmy hawa shai ba shimrachadash wa ba ba ball.